Okay, so uh, today we're looking at Euclidean geometry, um, and we're looking at exercise four. Right, and this is on page two, six, three. Right. So here we are told that in the diagram, PA is parallel to BC. PA is parallel to BC. People if lines are parallel, what do we know? We can use alternate corresponding going here. Not so. So in other words, angle A1 is equal to B2. Alternate angle. You will understand, no? Then we are told that B1 is equal to angle C. Then you are asked to prove that Triangle P A B is similar to triangle A B C. Well, how, how do we prove that? Okay, if triangles are similar, what do we know? They are equiangular, which means to say all the angles are equal, and the sides in proportion. Okay. So. Um, Let's go with that. How do we prove similarity? Either going to prove that the angles are equiangular or the sides are in proportion. As you can see, no lengths are given. Me. So we're going to prove that they are equiangular, the angles are the same. How do we start with similarity or congruency? We name the triangle. So in triangle, PAB and, tri uh, and triangle. A, B, C. People, this is almost a given that this is in the right order. Almost a given. Okay? Why? Because if you can't solve for A, at least you can derive your, um, uh, your corresponding sides that are in proportion here, and then you can answer the rest of the question. That is why we always try and give you that in the right order. So that you don't lose our double. You see what's nice people, we maths people are, no? We always want you to do well. But you guys, huh? you don't do well. Okay, so what can we say people first things first? Angle, A1 is equal to? B2. A1, but now this year you guys are different, no? you got grade 12 now. You guys are speaking a little bit more, not much. You're getting there, no? People, why is that the case? Nice, yes, alternate angles with PA being parallel to B's. B1, yes? Angle B1 is equal to? Why? It's given. One more. What do we leave to in this triangle? P is? S we equal to? Why? Is that enough to conclude similarity? Yes. Therefore, triangle PAB is similar to triangle ABC. Why? Angle. What will follow? Will almost definitely follow a similarity question. Not so. Mm -hmm. You can see it's evident in B. B says, must prove that AB, AP is to AB as PB is to AC. To us or to me, that would be PA over AB is equal to PB over you guys understand? Yes. Right. So we said from here, we're going to say that PA over uh, AB is equal to AB over BC equals PB over AC. Why? 
We go triangle. This normally goes next to it, no? Triangle. B A B. Similar to triangle. A B C. Let's prove it already. Okay. And again, if you didn't manage to prove this here, you go still and say B, and you state this. Okay, you guys understand? Right, so what do they want? They want P A, A B, 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 and A C. Can you see that, people? So what do I say? Therefore, I can just conclude. Therefore, P A is to A B as B B is to A C. I can't believe it's so easy. Okay. Is already at least seven marks here. Six or seven. Marks. Okay. See, it's easy marks. You just need to practice. That's it. Let's look at C. So again, something to do with the ratios, not so. So what do I say? P A over A B is equal to A B over B C equals. Is that you? PB <laughs> over? AC. Now, you see, I've written this reason here already. Okay? Right, it's going to be safe for you tonight. It's going to be PAB. It's parallel, um, uh, similar to? AC. It's similar to triangle AC. Ready? A, A, B, C. So why do you call it for it with it? Was because she was still in class, no? <laughs> What's it? A, B, C. Okay. So what are they looking at? What do we? What do we need? What do we need? We need A, B. Nope. Does that look nice? Crayons. No, I don't like that. What are they looking for? AB times AC. Here we go. This is the ratio they're looking for. BB and BC. Can you see they cross multiply the people? But therefore, AB times a C is equal to B B times. Okay, another two marks. Almost twenty percent. No? You carry on. That was number one. Number two, you yeah, actually did three, no? not four. Another one, no, most of you did. The whole exercise was so easy. Let's see, do this. Right, so number two. Number two, we are now told that in the diagram. In the diagram, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. People, if they tell us parallelogram, what comes to mind? Four things. Two pairs of opposite angles are equal, yes? 
Your peso opposite sides are equal, yes? Your peso opposite sides are parallel, yes? Diagonals bisect each other. Okay. Everybody making with their finger, but not saying what the property is. Okay. So, with that in mind, this is that case, the parallel. Okay. Then we are told that BC, okay, so we just mark it off. So A, B, C, D. So that is equal, that whole end is equal, that angles are equal, and that angles are equal there. Not so. And there's no diagonals here, so I'm not going to even indicate that. Okay. With that in mind, we are told that BC, BC, sorry, BE, BE is equal to BC. So with that said, what can we say? We know that angle C is equal to angle E2. But if C is the same as angle A, then E2 is also A. So without looking at anything else, what can we say? If that angle is equal to the same. Then A, B, E, D is A. Cyclic one. Yes, why? Exceeding angle of cyclic one is equal to the E2. You understand? Right. Then we are told that um, BD, BD is equal to AB. People, if BD is equal to AD, what can we see from this point? That angle D1 is equal to angle AY. Angles of the equal sides. So easy. So here's many X's you have, no? as you have in your lives. Not so? No. Okay. D1 is X, E2 is X, and C is X. Alright. First question is first. The, the question says prove that triangle. Okay, angle A is X. No? Prove that triangle ABD, ABD is uh, similar to triangle C, B, E. So we already said that those angles are all equal. Not so. So let's just go with it. So we say, as we normally do for congruence and similarity in triangle ABD and triangle CB. Firstly, we know that angle A is equal to angle C. Why? Angle A is equal to angle C is equal to X. Why? Opposite. Angles of a parallelogram way far. Alright. So we've got the first one. Let's look at the next angle. So we know that angle A is equal to angle D1. Angle A is equal to angle D1. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. Then E2 is equal to C. Is equal to C. Which is X. Y. Angles opposite. Equal sides. Okay. Now we can conclude. Therefore, E2 is equal to angle. E1 is equal to X. Here's a second link. Remember, I can't just leave it in the air there. I must link it. Okay? And then what was the third, the third angle? Sorry? Angle E1. Yes? No, that's not B1. B1. Equal to angle? B3. Why? Third angle. Third angle. Okay. Is that enough to conclude similarity? Yes. So what do we say? Therefore, triangle ABD is similar to triangle CB. Why? Angle angle. 
And of course you can see, you can follow, you can follow the, the letters and see if it's in the right order as well. Okay, so we say okay, let's check. It's worth a check. A, B, D. So A is the same as C. Is A the same as C? Yes. B is the same as B. Can you see that? Just A is the same, B is the same, and then D and E is also the same. Okay, you guys understand? So it's almost definite that what follows a similarity question? A ratio question or a length question on the time? Let's look at B. B says, so the only reason I'm going to take this off here is I want to keep this in focus here. You guys don't delete it no, from your pages in the exam. <laughs> Just doing this for space. Okay. So you say, I did it now. You want to do it? You want the mobs and something. Right. So people, they want you to work to, to prove that AB times D is equal to BD times BC. So we'll be stopped. We say that AB over CB is equal to BD over BE equal AD over CE. Why? Because triangle ABD is similar to triangle CBE. What do they want? They want AB BE B, C, D, uh, C, B, uh, B, C, uh, B, uh, D, and B, C. So this is it. Not so. What we do? Plus multiply. So therefore, A, B times E, B is equal to C, B times B, D. Or D, B times C, B is the same. You guys understand? Yes. Maja? Okay. And are you not sleeping? <laughs> so it seems like the weekend has been rough on some of us. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to speak the department, they mustn't give you weekends. People, what we have here is BD. BD. Again, a ratio question, not some. So BD, we can firstly say that AB over CB is equal to BD over BE, which is equal to AD over CE. Why? Because triangle ABD is similar to triangle CB. So what do they want? They want BD over AD and the BE over C. So what do you notice? That those two are interchanged. Not so. You see that? So we're interchanging that two. Okay. So it's going to be therefore BD over AD is equal to BE. Okay. Easy mathematics. Okay. The last one I gave you for homework. Number three. Seems like you guys are going to write a good exam this time around. Huh? We took all the easy sections for the year and we did it in the first time. Okay. So, yeah, it's the easy ones. No? Sorry? So we are told that in the diagram, EF is parallel to CGD. 
You believe that inspired now what do we know? Many things. No? Among the things we know, what do we know? That if 2 is equal to? G2. Also co-interior angles and so on. Okay? Then we are told that if G is parallel to B, E, C. What do we know then? That angle C is equal to? G2. Hang on. <laughs> Many angles that are equal. That's also equal there because of the corresponding line this way. Alright, you guys see that? For those who don't, there we go. Corresponding angles. Okay. So the question says, prove that. Prove that triangle BEF is similar to triangle FGD. How do you prove similarity? You prove that angles are equiangular or size in proportion. We're going to go with equiangular here, so we don't give a lens of size. We start by saying in triangle BEF and triangle FGD. Now, you see, we're going to say that G G2 is F2 and F2 is C and it's going to make us a bit confused. Not so. So we're going to bring up X into the story. Huh? So we say, so because it's triangle B, E, F, which is a triangle here, yeah? and triangle F, G, D. Those are the two triangles. We already spoke about F, uh, G, 2. Not so. So what do we say? Let angle G, 2 equals can do this in your exam as well. Okay, there's no letters. We've got an X here. And you write in the diagram. So now we're not going to say F2 is equal to G2. I'm going to say F2 is equal to X. Okay, F2 is equal to X. Why? Why is F2 X? Alternate angles. Alternate angles with E F being parallel to C D or C G one. Okay. Have I proven one of the tri angles in the triangle is equal to the other yet? No. So another one? Sorry? F three is equal to B Y? Corresponding, yes. But I'm, I'm trading the X here. That is right what you say? But it doesn't fit in with, because I, I'm still proving the first angle with this one. No? So this is equal to E1. Why? Again, alternate angles. Can you see that, people? So they have proven, successfully proven, the first one. Okay, so you say E1 is equal to X. Why? It's so alternate angles. With FG being parallel to BC. So therefore, we've got the first angle, which is G2, is equal to angle E1, which is equal to. There we have the first one. So. Okay. Then she said that F3 is equal to angle B. You see, as now, um, angles that I need to go with one from one to the other to the other, no? So we can just keep that as, as it is. And there's your corresponding angle there. But if you wanted to say if it is y and then no problem. Okay, so we can now say that uh, if 3 is equal to angle B, which you said it is, corresponding angles with FG being parallel to BC. Okay. And then, of course, the third one is if one is equal to dy, huh? third angle in a triangle, or what is that? Corresponding. Oh, Could have gone with corresponding. So I didn't have to throw that angle thing. We had got corresponding, corresponding, and then that would have been the third angle in the triangle. Would have been even easier. You see that people? 
But of course, there's many ways of doing this. Okay. That's why, but that's why geometry is so easy, because there's many ways of, of proving the things. Yeah? So what do we say? Angle F one is equal to angle D Y is the third angle in turn. Is that enough to conclude similarity D? Yes. yes. So therefore, um, B triangle B E F is similar to triangle. F G D Y angle angle okay so I will probably have four marks okay people what will almost definitely follow this yeah they should push and as you can see there it's there Right, so where do I start? They want the ratio, so what do I do? I say BE over FG is equal to EF over GD, which is equal to BF over FD. Why? Because triangle BEF is similar to triangle FGD. Good morning, okay. may I have your attention, please? The following learners, if they can please come to the office. FG. FG. EF. Chantal Lima. So, what do you notice? Interchange, not so. And that Chapulo Swart Boy. Those learners, if you can please report to the office. What is interchange? EF is on the right place, if G is on the right place, so that is interchange. You all agree with that? So what do we say that D4? G D over if G equals EF over Here we go for easy. Yeah? So for our lesson tomorrow, I would like you guys to do number four and five. I know most of you did it. So um, if you had a problem with four and five, you can just recheck it. Otherwise, we will answer it tomorrow. People enjoy this every day. Good morning, class.